What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the platinum review of Black Myth Wukong. As always, this is a platinum review so we will be talking about the entire trophy list of the game and you will see some end game gameplay. So consider this your spoiler warning. Now I would like to start this review by saying that Black Myth Wukong is a great game but it also has some shortcomings. So there are a lot of great talking points about this game and let's get into it. First and foremost, let's start with the performance. The performance of this game is good but not amazing. There are some inconsistencies like there are some frame drops. I have heard a lot of other players and my friends talking that they even clipped out of the game or had a boss fight where they insta died or maybe even insta killed a boss at some points. There are some glitches in the game. There are issues with performance, even the loading times, not amazing, nothing to write home about. They're decent, they don't get to the point where you're like, okay, I'm just looking at this loading screen every time I fast travel from one point to another. But yeah, there are loading times in this game. So that is the performance out of the way, like it's not great. I personally did not run into any amazing issues or any big issues with performance. Like there were some times when I was playing this game in performance mode as compared to quality mode like during performance mode there were issues where like the textures were really muddy like some of the cutscenes the close-ups of the characters looked really bad they looked really good in the quality mode but in performance mode they were not good and also i don't know if this is an issue or it is intended by the developer themselves but there are certain scenes or something where i felt like there was too much smoke going on i played most of this game in performance mode and it was like the smoke or the smog effect or whatever the effects the game has or the bloom effect whatever you want to call it it get into the way it got into the way of me actually seeing what was going into the on the screen uh, my ps5 did heat up playing this game a couple of times so that is one thing i got the heat warning but the, my first heat warning i got was for this game so that is also something that you should consider like if you are worrying about caring about your machine maybe don't play as crazily as i do but that's all I can say about that. So now let's move on with the presentation and graphics. The graphics of this game, I must say, across the board are awesome. Like this game is made in Unreal Engine 5 and it shows, it really shows, like it stands out, the effects stand out when you put a fire effect off an, on an enemy, it, he burns up, he or she burns up or it burns up and it looks like they're genuinely on fire and the other effects like the smoke going on around the screen like anytime you're in a boss fight or even if you are just wandering around in a chapter and when you see like when you're walking on sand or when you're walking on snow you see your footsteps when you walk in the water it makes a genuine effect so all these things like they look really amazing they look make the game world and everything very believable you think and you feel like you are okay, you are on this mythological journey and you are interacting with this these mystical beasts and mythical creatures and you know fighting with them or talking to them then cutscenes interacting with them everything is good like even apart from the graphics the presentation is really good there is some really really great attention to details I like the simple and simple and minimal quality of stuff they, are, they have done it's like whenever you boot up the game, depending on the shrine that you are at, you are, at, you are met with a different uh, boot up screen. Like, you know, whenever you have to start, press X to start the game or continue your journey. Every time you are at that screen, depending on how much you have progressed into the game, you are met with a different screen. And they are all beautiful screens, they are beautiful wallpapers or whatever. Like, there are so many times when I just wanted to pause the game and take in the scenery or, you know, stop playing and just look around. When you are at meditation spots and you are meditating, it shows you all across the map like in the spot where you are sitting, all the little tiny details that have been going on in that particular area. That's awesome. That's amazing. Also, there are other small things they have done like when an enemy is talking, even in the cutscenes and everything, although this is a Chinese game, it is uh, as far as I would say, depending like uh, based on the fact that this is a game made by Chinese developers, the voice acting and everything across the board is really good. Uh, I would say like even the cutscenes and everything, good, well acted cutscenes, good dialogues, it made the world really believe. It made me want to go ahead and read Journey to the West to actually understand what the story of Sun Wukong is 
and get to know him more get to know the characters more and everything i know there have been some issues and some talking points about inclusivity in this game like they did not want to include a lot of other characters or this character or there are some characters who were important to the story which were not there i did not feel about anything i did not feel like i was missing out on anything or any stuff i enjoyed a lot of what was going on in the game i had fun with it i actually had a lot of fun with it also as uh, if you are talking about the presentation let's talk about enemy designs and enemy variety the enemy variety is really good they, this game has a lot of bosses there are a lot of secrets to find which are really awesome some of the secrets really do stand out some of the secret boss fights really do stand out and when you are fighting them or when you are in the boss fight you realize that none of these are like recycled characters these are all great characters these are all amazing characters and these are amazing enemies and amazing bosses that you are fighting they each have a different move set they interact with differently like of course because of like we'll talk more about this in the gameplay but you technically fight them the same way your strategies don't really change but it's like all the enemies they're different enemies per chapter every chapter all the enemies all the you are encountering and all the npcs you are interacting with like i like the fact that there is a different monk story for every chapter there is a different monk that you are interacting with and you get to know about his story and how wu kong interacted with him or what wu kong's history was with that person uh, particular person so that is good to know also but enemy variety i really enjoyed like even in games like from software games like elden ring and all i feel like there are a lot of recycled bosses or a recycled enemy or just the same enemy with a different skin on it okay this guy used to do fire effect now in this area is doing poison effect but it's not like that there are some good enemies some decent enemy variety and it's good like the boss fights really do stand out there are a lot of epic moments as far as we are talking about presentation presentation of this game across the board i'm really happy also some really small and nifty genuine quality of life effects they have put into the game like you can fast travel right from the start and uh, you know uh, like you can fast travel right from the start and you can do other stuff and all these things like which i want to be in every game if you want to go to a particular area like from every shrine you can travel back to every area there is no area that is locked out to you until you get to the end of the game or anything there are certain visible uh, bosses and certain visible interactions that you have to complete before you move on to the next chapter that is based on progression and everything and i enjoyed that too like the secrets of this game like i realized there was a point where i actually went into a boss fight and there are two bosses you can fight in this area and if you can activate them both at once you actually can have them fight themselves so one boss take care of the other one and then you just got to finish off who's left also i like that all the enemies are friendly fire on every single enemy in this game is friendly fire on so if there is a exploding enemy or some enemy who's throwing arrows you can just move away and make the other enemy get into the way of his arrows or make that exploding enemy get to the other guy and they'll just hit each other and you know it's good these type of presentation things it feels good feels good to know it feel good to play makes the world more believ- believable and i really really enjoyed that the presentation aspect of it also another part of the presentation the game worlds are huge like each chapter is its own concise game world and i am telling you like the maps are amazing like this could have been an entire game like with the crappy games that i played with ubisoft and some other developers they would have made an entire game out of the chapter 2 3 and 4 of this game like i can tell you entirely if you play it you will get to know like just chapter 3 and 4 if you keep cramming stuff into this keep doing making the same activity 50 times into this you can cram it easily into the game worlds and the maps that are of chapter 2 3 and 4 especially even chapter 5 and 6 are amazing big and huge open worlds you don't have to interact with it so much because they only i like how the developers did not go too much or too far with the stuff they wanted to do there were points where i was feeling that they oh, okay i wish there could have been more but with what they presented i felt that i was not being encumbered with side quests or side activities or tasks that i want to do and i really enjoyed that this is what i want from a good game like everything i want from the game in terms of presentation wise it has it and there are other things i can say about this like at certain points where i felt like the game was lacking in certain things or certain aspects but we know that this game was supposed to be like 12 chapters or 13 chapters and we only got 6 because the developer it's a small development team and they could not 
make the game release or i do i understand if it was not feasible for them to release the game after completion because they have bills to pay and they were expecting to turn a profit but i enjoyed what is there i of course i want it i would love if i can get the rest of the chapters there are some areas where you get to and you can understand that there is some cut content going on because this was supposed to be a boss arena but there is not even an enemy here so you understand that yeah okay they were intended to put something there but they were not able to understandable so that's the presentation graphics and everything out of the way now let's get into the gameplay now the gameplay of black myth wukong is a typical easy to learn and difficult to master type of gameplay it is like i know there are a lot of comparisons being made with souls game and there have been people saying that this is not a souls game but i believe this is a souls game you go to shrines those are your checkpoints any progress you made before that is after that is lost if you die the only difference being you don't particularly lose anything on that but this is technically like a souls game because when you go to a boss and you fight him you're going to fight him and you're going to lose to him and then you're going to learn his moves and then you're going to practice them out it's going to take a certain amount of tries to get to know their moves get your counters down get your dodges down and then you can then you are going to beat him you are not going to beat every boss at the first try even if you are a gaming god i don't think you will because you will maybe be under skilled maybe there are some uh, skills or some tech uh, some technical stuff or some equipment that you don't particularly have right now so those skills and techniques till you acquire them you will be weak to those bosses and that is going to happen and that is basically the blueprint of a souls game so apart from you not losing anything on death i don't see a difference between this and a souls game but this is a really good game like even if it is a souls game or a souls like game this is a really good one this is amazing like the gameplay is really amazing the only problem being is the terms of build variety and the gameplay variety that you have been given like the gameplay is deep the skill tree is really deep there are a lot of equipment and stuff that you can get in the game which changes your gameplay which are amazing which have really good effect on the way you interact with things where you interact with the next boss fight like you will get a particular type of staff or a particular type of armor and that will change your gameplay entirely but still the one thing i found lacking is you only have a staff in this game there are stances with the staff which you can use with changes and which get upgrade more and more as you invest more into that particular skill tree there are other skills like the staff spin is an amazing skill that i found out very late in my game and that completely changed my new game plus play through and there are other skills that i did not try i still have not tried the thrust trends very well i don't know all the counters there is a way you can counter in the smash stance or in the pillar stance so depending on the type of enemy you are facing there will also be a different stance a particular stance which is actually you know strong or tough against this particular enemy and like the pillar stance works well on bosses which uh, try to dodge away or which try to keep you at a distance if someone is getting close to you smash stance works good thrust stance again have, have not tried it that much i would like to try it so that is another thing so as i said there are a lot of relics and things you can get with your god there are different gods which are the healing items that you are using which you get and then there are soaks which you can use to you know modify the type of uh, buffs you get when you whenever you try to heal but i would say in terms of making a particular build there are not many options as again you are limited to using just staffs and also there are not a lot of relic slots that you have you get you start with three relic slots and as you play new uh, every other new game plus you can add one relic slot to it so it's i would say you will have to get to like say ng plus 4 or 5 to have enough relic slots to actually make a build because there are relics you get there are two of relics like you say you get three relics which uh, make you immune to fire damage or there are three relics which make you put the poison put the poison effect on you but you, every time you are poisoned your damage is increased and your health is like the health reduction is decreased and everything but you can't put all three of them because then you, there are other relics that you actually need to survive in the game like the relic that ignores the enemy's resistance or any, every time you die you get a huge buff for that particular relic so all these relics you cannot actually use them in your first playthrough and i don't know how much you are going to be invested in the game to go for the next playthrough 
because once you're done with the game with the story you're technically done you do have to play it for the platinum we'll get into that later but yeah apart from that the gameplay is good the re it's really good and also i must say the transformations in this game are amazing like they are beyond anything i've seen there are spirits you can collect in this game which give you like you transform and do one move or two move with that particular spirit you can upgrade those spirits as well and then there is another transformation which the might do you have you accumulate might as you're fighting enemies and you can transform into an entirely different character and i must tell you those transformations are so amazing like they could make another game with that character and i will play it like i personally went with the yin tiger transformation and the yellow loom transformation for most of my playthrough there are a lot more transformation i think there are around 10 or 12 transformations in total maybe 8 to 10 i believe i'm not sure on the number but the thing is two or three of these transformations that i've tried even the beast monkey or the monkey beast one whatever it is they are amazing like they are really amazing the spells that you have in this game are amazing the yellow loom transformation as i was talking about let's stick with the transformations for a minute they are really great like i would play a game if you told me that there's a they they are releasing a game which in which you play as the yellow loom character and you do that yellow loom story and because i played with this transformation i only played like two hours or maybe less than that with this particular transformation and if it is a 10 to 12 hour long game i long game i will rush and buy it right away that is how good the transformations in this game are and they're really amazing also the spells in this game and everything really good i did not use all the spells all the time but all the spells i did use were amazing i had a lot of fun with it the skills and abilities that you get in this game as i'm saying it has a deep skill tree it has a good skill tree the only problem the only issue with this that i can say is that you only have a staff to play with. I wish there was a little bit more weapon variety, maybe even a build variety, if not in terms of a, uh, if you are not going to give me, I believe that it is pertinent to the story because Wukong only has a staff, so you can only play with the staff. But that is the one point where I'm like, okay, this could have been perfect. This could have been a 10 out of 10 game. The only, these are the certain things which are holding it back for me. And I really believe that this can be an amazing game. This is an amazing game. And I had a lot of fun with it. Even if you, as you are listening to my review, I only have positive things to share about this game. But the only issue that I have with this game is that somehow it does not do it for me. Like I cannot call this a perfect game. I don't know why I cannot. I can put. I cannot put my finger on it. I cannot say that this is not a 10 out of 10 game. And I cannot say why this is not a 10 out of 10 game. This game does everything. It has great enemy variety, great boss fights, great gameplay, uh, great spells and uh, tech, uh, technical abilities and great uh, other abilities, great skill tree. It has everything. Great presentation, great graphics. Like the graphics that I've actually wanted in a game are here. The presentation I've actually wanted in a game are here. And yet this is not a 10 out of 10 for me. I understand that this was supposed to be a 12 chapter long game. They just had to come uh, like they had to cut it down to six chapters. I understand that. I agree with that. It was not feasible for the developers. I cannot actually fault the developers on them for that. And also, I don't know that if it was double the length of the game that it already is, maybe it might have overstayed it. It's welcome for me. Maybe I would have been more tired or more annoyed with the fact that, okay, I have to play this game for this much amount of time. And now I have to play this game for twice that amount of time and still do all the trophies and stuff. And now I'm bored with just using the staff already. So there are issues with that but I don't know like I cannot tell you the proper particular reason why this is not a perfect game but I just felt it lacking in certain teeny tiny aspects this is still a great game this is still an amazing game but it's just so close it is just like it's so close to perfection that I am actually sad that it is not perfect and I don't know why it is not but that is what I'm left with that is my feeling about this entire game this is Obviously, I would highly recommend this game if you like watching my guides and you know my platinum reviews and everything if you are interacting with any content on my channel, if you like the type of games I play, if you, that has interested you, if you are connecting with me as an audience or as a person or as a content creator, I would genuinely tell you that you should go and buy this game if you have already not brought it and give this a chance. The platinum trophy of this game is also really good. But we'll get into this next, but yeah, 
you should definitely play this game i believe everyone like don't go with my review score that i'm going to give this game in the end definitely go and try this game out because if you are into third person action games fantasy game with mythical uh, uh like mythical elements and good set pieces like this has god of war level moments this game has there are some transformation and some epic moments you go into giant mode as well at some points and there are other stuff that is going on the secret ending of this game is amazing the secrets in this game are actually amazing well thought out smart secrets you get the clues for them and you get to know okay, okay you can do these things but that is if you pay attention to everything that is going on in this game and even if you don't you're going to have a lot of fun with this game that is the one thing i'll like to leave you away with that you're going to have a lot of fun with this game so that is enough we have talked about the game right now now let's talk about the plot now the platinum trophy the trophy list apparently of this game is good it's decent but it has its issue because the like i of course the trophy list forces you to play the game one more time to get all the equipment or the sorry items it that is needed to craft all the equipment and everything that i understand new game plus of this game not actually bad you actually have fun since you're starting off with all top abilities all the relics all the equipment that you acquired in the first game it's actually fun like starting from the first boss but actually the thing is that for some of the equipments this game actually forces you to do all the secret and side content as well till chapter 5 like you can skip some of it but technically it's safe to just do all of it to get everything that you need and still that is not the main issue the main issue for this game for me is the rng stuff like this game actually has rng there are some uh, armor elements or some particular elements or seeds that are dropped by enemies and they are completely random they are totally luck based and all you can do about them is pray and hope that you get it there is a grind for that that is annoying you just run from point a to point we doing the same thing 55 times 65 times 85 times i ended up having to grind like 8 hours or 9 hours for steel ginseng that i was looking that is a particular soak that i was looking for i hope it's not less for you i hope you get it it like in your first try or maybe an hour or so but that is all you can do with rng and that is how bad rng is you can only hope and pray that your luck runs up and you actually get it soon there was another fire seed which i had to uh, get and I don't know five eight seat or something again six eight hours of grind so that in- increased my uh, platinum time for this game and the main point was that whole activity was not fun at all just running around picking up fire seed fire eight seeds or just running around killing one enemy was not fun yeah I would if the game would have just said that if I complete it uh, all the way to NG plus one and then I can start NG plus two and then get some more. stuff or get a uh, better drops i would have gone for that i would have liked to play this game and interact with this game freely as i intend to and as i want to rather than going and doing that stuff again and again that is the one main issue major issue i have with the platinum of this game apart from that everything else is decent enough you just have to find all the equipments playing this game on ng plus is not bad the platinum is fun it's good finding all the secrets of this game is actually as i said really fun really good like good secrets and everything that you have to find them for the trophy and you will enjoy finding them for the trophy is what i feel so that is another thing i want to say but apart from that normal decent trophy list most of the portraits and everything like when you start you get a ton of trophies when you start new game plus because you even if you collect everything it does not register till you are into new game plus so just start new game plus to get all the trophies you are missing there are a lot of spirits to get as well which is you have to fight like upgraded version of the normal enemies that you are fighting into the game you can find them exploration is fun in this game finding the secrets as i said exploration and everything is fun so you will have fun with the game you will not have any issues just the rng stuff and everything which holds the platinum list or the trophy list back for me personally and this ladies and gentlemen finally brings us to the score of black myth book now as a game since there are some issues with the game teeny tiny it's only nitpicky but i still feel that the game is a little bit out of perfection like to away from perfection as i would say it is very close but it's not quite there so i would like to give this game a 9 out of 10 
and as for the platinum trophy as i said it forces you to do ng plus which we are not a fan of although this game is the one game where i will really recommend going for the ng plus so i would like to give the platinum list a uh, 7 out of 10 because even if playing the ng plus is okay doing and dealing with that rng stuff is totally not it is not an uh, acceptable for any game no matter how good bad or well presented it is no game should have rng trophies and this game has it uh, so i cannot give the platinum trophy list a high score but still it is overall a fun platinum and i would suggest that you guys try it out like even talking about this game i know that i have not uh, tried out the thrust trance very very well or the ring of fire spell very well so i am suddenly inclined to go and play start another new game plus run and do everything again and try different techniques or try different tactics with this game even though i have the platinum and everything but still that is one thing that i can do or tell you about so this game is so fun that i won't mind going and doing all the stuff again all the story experiencing all the story again i am not again against that even when i have everything even when i have done everything twice i can still just play this game for fun this is one of those games this is that good it's just even i don't know right now why it's not perfect so there you have it folks that is my score for black myth wukong that is my platinum review for black myth wukong i really hope you guys enjoyed it please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel there are other platinum reviews out that you guys can check out i am working on bringing you more platinum reviews more soon i mean as soon as the games are released i know Black Myth Wukong is a couple of months old game at this point but I was waiting to get the platinum and also make sure I have all my thoughts and everything like I thought about what I want to say about the game I sat on it and that is when when I had a good decent opinion to put out for this game that is when I came with the review but there are other games that are playing right now like uh, the Star Wars Jedi Survivor is there and Call of Duty Black Ops 6 review is going to be out soon because that game i know what i want to say about this game and i don't think my opinion is going to change i am just waiting i was just waiting for season 1 to release which has released recently so i am going to be coming to you with that review as well very soon there are this are alien way to review coming out and there are other reviews coming out as well so please stay tuned to the channel for the new content that is coming i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i was able to help you out and help me form an opinion for the game or help you out with whatever you're thinking if you are on the edge about this game if you have already bought the game if you feel differently from what i'm saying please do let me know in the comment section let's talk about it i will be there interacting with all of you and as always please please do remember to like share and subscribe your love and support means a lot and as always wherever you are whatever you're doing please stay safe stay healthy and stay busy playing some good games this is your friend galactus signing off Thank you.